Hello all. So, good discussion on both uh, the last two videos. The uh, Doomer discussion and why people are Doomers. I appreciate all the uh, comments on that. It's uh, good to know why people feel the way they do. Here's the interesting thing. I was listening to a program the other day that really blew my mind. I tried to go find it and I couldn't find it in history or anywhere else. So I don't know if they took it down or whatever, but they were talking about the first days of space, the first days of the telescope. And when they peered out into space, you know, after the second or third or fourth generation, they were quite amazed and most all astronomers said the same thing at the time. That's because there were so few of them. <laughs> they were all amateurs building their own equipment. But they all were amazed that there wasn't a boundary or a fence or some kind of place beyond our own solar system that looked different. They were amazed that space was so empty that you could see virtually forever. But they were talking about how come they don't see any sign of intelligent life or any life period outside the planet Earth at this time. With the days of SETI and super telescopes and ever bigger telescopes, we've got some really good ones coming up here in the next couple of years, and the ones after that, it's all going to be so exciting to see what's really out there. But each time they look out into space with more clarity, more megapixels, more computing power, they still do not see a barrier. They still do not see lights that are artificial. They don't see any inhabitants whatsoever. You would think by now we would have gotten at least one signal other than the wow signal. The wow signal, the only signal that SETI said that was may have some extraterrestrial characteristics. They couldn't repeat it. It was never repeated, so it's just called the wow signal. Could have been a bounce from our own transmitters and coming back as a modified something or other. But still, not a single fence, not a single barrier. We don't see any ships or cities, or towns, or mega wars. We don't see any Dyson spheres that we can see or tell. We can't see anything unusual. So the point is here, is that we're probably very alone. Beyond anything we can reach, would we find life, to be honest, for this point. I just don't see that there's any intelligent life anywhere within our grasps, of either hearing or seeing. So. My point here is that all this fantastic planetary beauty that I show you all the time, just in my own little section of the planet, is still going. It's still there. Look how amazing it is. And that we would just throw that all away and, and do nothing is astonishing to me. When you look out at other planets and asteroids and suns and uh, exoplanets and on and on and on, you see a lot of dust, rock, radiation, heat, cold, but you don't see planet Earth. Why would we even think of giving up when we're not even close to destruction yet? And when it does come, it's still in small pockets. And let's not forget, in the past, we have seen CO2 counts of 2,000. And there was still life all over the planet. Well, it was one great big continent at that time. But still, there was no dead zones at all. Everything had life in it. So that's one of the reasons I'm not giving up. Because I haven't proved to myself that if we get to 500 or 600 parts per million and the methane goes off the chart, 
that we're doomed. I think we're going to have what they call is a hot house earth, which means it's going to be much hotter than it is now. But there will be life everywhere. They're just we just may be living instead of in the equator, we'll be living at the poles. So that's my thoughts on the last two videos. We have so much to lose if we give up on such a fantastic place as planet Earth. selfish is that to give up on all those animals and plants that are out there struggling against the human and we would just give up and let it happen mind-boggling to my mind we should always fight to preserve what we have up until the very last day at least I plan to I appreciate all the comments and the ups and the downs and uh, by the way the uh, VA is so broken. I went yesterday and I did get in and got my appointment. Took x-rays, took blood samples, did questioning, all that, and it did not take. It didn't stay in their PC. So it looks like I have to go and do the whole thing again. I think the orange man is sucking the VA dry in some squirmy, illegal way that, they, uh, that that family works. I suspect that the money that was meant to go to the VA is now going into the Trump something or other. <sighs> so, I get to do it again. But I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm still going to fight till the last day. And I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. But I, I can't go anywhere. I'm in a lot of pain. And uh, this is what we're going to see for a few days until I can get my knees back my own way. By the way, they want me to uh, go get a needle put in my knee and they suck out liquid and then put silicone back in or something. Oh boy, I just gotta love old age. Oh.